When making a, a quick route overlay with your map, the first thing that you need is the GPX file from your um, Garmin watch or other uh, enabled watch. This should work for Garmin, for Sunto, any watch that can output a GPX file should work. And in this case, we're using my uh, Garmin um, Forerunner 310. So the way I do it is I click on Garmin Connect from the Garmin Quick Connect interface, and that takes me to the website that kind of uploads all of the different uh, events for me. And I'm going to pick one from the other day, the Manitoc event. Here you can see my Garmin track or my satellite track on as overlaid on a satellite map. And that's okay. And that's pretty accurate because it's uh, located um, with satellite knowledge and whatnot. But what we don't see is the controls. So we want to get the Garmin track and we want to overlay that into Quick Route. So go up to the settings button and then just say export to GPX. In order for us to overlay it in Quick Route, we're going to need a pretty good screen grab of the map. In this case, I've asked for a PDF of the actual course, which is the Bears course down at Manitoc. I'm going to zoom in because really what I'm worried about is just the course itself. So I don't need the entire map, I just want the area of the whole course so that I can overlay that. We'll see one more click in here. That'll be perfect. And I try to get it as big as possible so that I can um, overlay it and get a nice output in quick route. So to take a screenshot, depending on your device, uh, you'll have to figure that out, PC, Mac. You just grab a screenshot of the map. And then in the next step, we'll move into quick route. Okay, in Quick Route, we're going to create a new event, and we're going to start with the map file. The map file is a JPEG, GIF, PNG, so we're going to browse to the screenshot that we just took, and that's typically right here on the desktop. We're going to open that file. And then the next one is we're going to say, where do we get the route? Well, we get it from a file, remember the GPX file, and it'll also import some other files, like a Garmin Fit. And training center history files, things like that, but in this case it's a GPX file. So I browse to that, and in this case it's here, it's right in my downloads folder. I've been doing this a couple of times, and you can check the date so you can make sure that it's the latest one. Notice that it ends in .gpx, click open. Once I have that done, I can select the person if I'm doing it for more, multiple people, or just click OK. The next step is uh, you see the screenshot or the map, and then in red you see your uh, track. Now in this case, something to remember, you always have to you know, kind of remember from the course when you ran it, and I did not start my GPS tracking until control one. And so here's how I adjust my track. So I grab the track, and notice that the arrow is in that second arrow, the adjust route mode. So I'd simply gr click and hold, grab my track, and I move it over to where I started the GPS. And you notice that the whole thing shifts. Now notice also that the end kind of lines up. And then I typically have to maneuver back up to the farthest control, and in this case that's control number five. And I just click and drag, and I say, well, we're gonna put it right there. So that's where I went. That looks pretty good, as a matter of fact. Now, you should know that this uh, map that I'm working with, the Manitoc map, is not georeferenced at 100%. So some of this might be off just a little bit. And so in that case, you can you can click and drag just a little bit. You can click and drag some of these points, and you see that the whole route adjusts based off of um, how it kind of interprets that you move. So the more adjustments you make, more uh, squirrely it tends to get so just kind of double check uh, what it is that you need like in this case this corner here I know should have been here because I ran the road up and this came over here and I have to overlay these corners and then I'm kind of back on a path so you do have to remember uh, how you ran especially if your map is not 100% georeferenced uh, if it is you'll see a big difference uh, it'll just line up right away but this looks pretty good Okay, when I'm done, I click on this other mouse arrow to 
to the pointer and then you'll see that your trail or your track will change to green and then that indicates the speed that you took. Now some quick adjustments and you'll fiddle around here on your own but some quick adjustments is you can make the line a little bit thicker, easier to see. Uh, same thing with the outline and that might be helpful, that might not be helpful. So that's all up to you. Uh, but that's the quick and dirty on how you get the GPX track overlaid on the map. And then I click Save. If I haven't ever saved it again or saved it before, I'll just do Manitoc test file. Click save. Depending on where you're saving it. Again, I'm working on a on I'm running Windows on a Mac, so it might look a little different. Uh, but you have your paste on here, you have your other paces, and as you drag along you can tell exactly where you were. Um, you have lots and lots and lots of data, so you can go into great detail here. And then the last step would be to export this, and I typically export it as an image, and I typically put it again uh, somewhere where I can find it, uh, and whatever the file might be, serve it as a JPEG or a PNG if I'm going to post it on the website, and I save it. And there's your image. Image size usually 100%. That's all there is to it. Then you can go get that image and look at it and post it online or share it with other people and look at your track. Have fun.